What up, man? It's your big brother, K Reno. Uh, check it out. Um, it's a uh, it's a real problem out here that we we have always known has existed, but sometimes when you get a chance to be up close with it um, or close to it, it kind of just reminds you of how bad the problem really is, and. I participated in a uh, in a food drive today. I, I arrived like super late, so by the time I got there, it was almost pretty much over. And I hate I got there late, but just being able to talk to the people who organize it, our brothers and sisters at the Nation of Islam, and to hear them talk about how the line of cars that were coming in to get food was all the way down the street. It just points to the fact that we really are in a food desert in our neighborhoods, in our inner cities out here. And I've seen it many times over the years, man, but Things that we take for granted, like just having a meal, just being able to go in the kitchen and get something to eat, or being able to get in the car and drive to a restaurant, sit down to eat. There are people who struggle with that every single day with the actual premise of waking up not knowing where their next meal is coming from. We've been hearing that statement forever, but there are people who really live like that, just not knowing what I'm going to eat today. And when an event takes place that serves and feeds the community and you see the people come out like that, it lets you know that it's a real, real strong need for food. And I don't know what the city's role is in that in terms of um, I'm sure, of course, there are things that they can do and, and programs that they can implement, and I'm sure that they do have programs like that, but the reality is you're dealing with hundreds of thousands of people or more who are struggling with this problem, just trying to get something to eat. And so now I look at it as a lot of that weight falls on us as a community to make sure that we set up things and structures that can go out and, and help feed people on whatever scale that we're able to do it. We, we, we may not be in a position to just feed multitudes and feed masses and masses of people uh, within our little circles but you can collaborate with other people and other groups that can help bring more to the table than you would have been able to bring to the table just by yourself or just with your organization. And one thing that I feel like all people can relate to, it doesn't matter what um, religious ideology you you claim it doesn't matter what race you are, it doesn't matter what organization you're with, what political affiliation you have. One thing that people seem to always connect with and respond to is feeding other people. I've seen it so many times. I've seen people just rise to the occasion and the best comes out of people when it comes down to food because if you ever been hungry if you ever was in a situation where you needed something to eat and it wasn't readily available to you if you come out of that situation and you see somebody else in it you feel it and you immediately most people spring into action so we got a kind i would like to just challenge everybody to kind of push forth on initiatives like that whatever city you in just get with some people man just go randomly go out 
And and this is the big and this is a, a big point. It's not just the homeless. We understand that um that's that's a major homeless problem in, in, in America and in particular a, a lot of the major cities. So you see people going out all the time and they'll feed the homeless and, and we need to continue to do that. But the truth of the matter is, man, we talking about people who are not homeless, people who have roofs over their head, but they may live in, in the projects, they may live in the hood, and they, they barely got a roof, but or they have families, children, they're functioning people in society, but getting food is a struggle. Even with government assistance, even no matter how you slice it up. So we got to figure out ways to feed our people. We got to we got to locate where the problem is in our areas, set up plans, and go out and 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 make sure that people have food and these children have something to eat. Because man, look, there's no way that you can max out as 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 a person as in anything you're trying to be. When you're hungry and when you're weak and you're fatigued, your mind don't even function right. So I just wanted to put that out there, man, and hope that we can dedicate some of our time and our resources towards helping people get meals, man. You know, and shout out to the Nation Islam for their efforts today. And um, let's keep it going, man. It's your big brother, K. Reno. Peace.